All right, what is going on, guys? So today, this lighting might be bad. I'm in my garage. Um, so today or tonight, it's Thursday, Thursday night. So um, tonight, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys a little tour of all my fishing gear, um, just so you guys know what I'll be using and what what there is when I do fishing videos. So I do kayak fishing, but tomorrow or Saturday, not tomorrow, I'm going fishing. I'm gonna fish from the shore for a little while before I kayak. So um, basically, let's just get started over on this on the left side of the garage. So we have my dad's kayak here. Like again, the lighting might be bad in here. So this is probably a I have to say maybe ten foot kayak. Sorry about that, guy. <laughs> my dad is playing guitar. Um, anyways. So I'm just gonna show you guys a few things here. These, this is my tackle box that I um, put in my uh, put in my kayak. Uh, so let's just open this here if I can even open it. Fudge. Okay. So basically, I have different types of jigs here. These jigs, that those jigs right there. You can see them. I'll zoom in. Here to see. Focus, focus. Those jigs, I um, you can catch crappie on. You know, smaller fish, sunfish. You can catch on that one. That's like some bobber. Uh, um, then right here, if I can get it out, you got this jig here. This one you can catch bass on. I've got some on there. Now you got different types of jigs and other lures here. So that's pretty much it for my mini tackle box. I'm, we got some new stuff that I'll show you after everything in the garage. I'm not gonna show you like every single lure. And then here we have more bass, walleye, pike lures in there. So, yeah, so this is my kayak right here. Um, got my life vest in there, paddles down under there. Can't really see that, anyways. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of our rods here now. Um, so I'm just gonna set you guys up right here. I don't know how good this picture is. Uh, that probably should be good. All right, guys. So hope you guys can see me. I don't know because I don't have one of those things that flips up that I can see. Uh, so let's just start with a regular rod, that a common rod that most people use. So this is my rod. I've had this rod since I was probably, I don't know, like seven or eight years old. Uh, ever since I went camping, this is the only rod I use. We have lots of line out here. It's kind of hard to let line out when there's just the freaking swivel on there. Oh, it's already at the top. You guys, so let me just just reel it back up here. So the way I like to hold these, uh, this rod is if you can make this sign with your fingers, I like to put it like this and just kind of hold it like this with one finger up here that's supporting the top here. And when I'm jigging, just like to jig like that. So this is the type of rod that most people use. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's rats nesting up in here. Oh uh, guys, this line is sucks though. This line is so freaking old. I actually hate this line. So one thing you always want to make sure before you start reeling in, and this is hard because only the swivels on here, is make sure your line is tight as it can possibly be. Otherwise, like with the old line like this, it will rat's nest and it's not fun. Anyways, there we go. So yeah, I do just kind of do it like this. Um, most people use these types of rods and reels. I have bigger reels than this one. This is m mostly a little trout, crappie, or bluegill rod. I have bigger rods here. So, um, I'm just showing you guys a lot of the stuff before I start the fishing videos for like bass fishing and that kind of stuff. So, I'll show you guys this rod right here. It's a red rod. The reel for it is not, this rod doesn't really support this reel. Now you might have seen like a lot of professional bass fishers where I've used this reel. So this one's a little different. It's got a button right here. This is the button right here. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's not the gliding, so the lighting sucks in here. Anyways, and the 
real handle is on that side, so you can't, you can't, when you cast, you use this hand, but then you gotta switch over while it's in the air, so, and then, I'll show you guys, and then you start like this, but, anyways, to drop it, it's just you let it drop, and you gotta kind of keep your finger on the line, you can let it drop, but then you gotta make sure your finger is on that line, switch over, and just kind of make sure it doesn't rat's nest, because it's not good when it rat's nest, so, basically, when you cast, just like any other rod, and then you, right when it hits the water, or the kayak, you put your hand right back on the line here, and the reel stays tight, and does rat's nest, and then once you're done, then you can just reel like a normal rod. But this rod, though, isn't really, it's too flimsy for this reel, as you can see. Look how, I don't know if you can see how flimsy that is, but it's really freaking flimsy. Anyways, then you need a ugly stick. That's a really good brand rod. I know it's kind of weird. It's called an ugly stick. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, budge nuggets. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys our new stuff that we got. It's a bunch of worms and jigs. That kind of stuff. The lighting won't be too good in the house either. I like have all the lights off in there. So. Guess not. I almost tripped, guys. Jeez, that would have been bad. Okay, so I'm probably gonna edit that. I most likely will. Oh my god, I almost slipped on that wood slab. I most likely will <coughs> um, edit some of that out. I'll like edit, cut it to where I'm walking in, show you, and then yeah, you guys, you guys get the point. Anyways, so I'm gonna open this up real quick. You know what? This is not a good, good way. So I'm gonna put you guys back up here. That's okay. I can't really ask you that question because you can't answer it. So. Um, this is our worm bag, is what we like to call our jig and worm bag. So, this is filled with so much stuff, I, it's kind of crazy, but anyways, this is, right here we have size 4 offset worm hooks, not EWG. Um, well guys, that was a nice hot rod there. Uh, <laughs> anyways, let me get it out for you guys to see better. Last video, I didn't, I could, you guys couldn't really see. Thing, but these are the size 4 offset worm hooks. These are not EWG, and EWG means um, extra wide gap. These are not extra wide gap, and if I can get one out without hurting myself, that would probably be a good thing. The EWG hooks are very dangerous. <laughs> I already just, like cut myself with it, and it's not fun. Anyways, here we go. So this is the EWG hook here. Not the EWG, the size 4 offset worm hooks. You can see there's not an extra wide gap like the EWG ones that we have. And I get most of my stuff from Bass Pro Shops, just so you guys know. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to show you for those hooks. We got some weedless hooks, which like help not get stuff in the weeds. So these are our Berkeley Powerbait worms for like the Wacky Rig, Texas Rig. You can use anything. You can catch a lot of bass on these. And anybody who's watching my videos who knows about fishing, you'll know what those rigs are and what these are. Anybody who doesn't know, they won't know who it, what, it, what it is. So, I'm basically just going to show you guys um, most of this stuff. And just want to let you guys know, I'll only edit a few parts that need to be edited. I like to keep the video natural how it was. I don't like to edit and cut, cut, cut like that, like a lot of YouTubers do. So, this, uh, these are Zero slash Z2 Revolutionary Soft Baits. Um... But these are salt impregnated, so there's salt inside these. Just adds extra weight to this. You can also use all the tech, you know, Texas rig, any rig you want on here, the wacky rig. Now, so yeah, it's 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 they're really I haven't used those ones. They're like brand new those ones. Um, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. So these, these right here are new ones. These are the Berkeley Power Bait, uh, like crawdad jigs, I guess you could say. They're kind of like that. Um, use the UWG hooks on these. These catch bass. I know these do. I've seen John B. and AP Bass and use these. So these uh, it's either similar to this or this. John B. uses Ber Berkeley Power Bait. And I got some, some new ones today. These are the Yum Crawdad Jigs. These are supposedly the most realistic crawdad jigs. These will definitely catch bass. They 
do look very realistic. I don't know if you guys can see that that well. The light, like I said, the lighting sucks. They're like, it's, the color is called watermelon. That's the color. It's literally the color is called watermelon. I'm not kidding. Um, yeah, yeah. And there's like sparkly red and green. So that, that's what makes them cool. And then we got, I also got these uh, realistic earthworms for bass fishing at, at Sports and Warehouse. This is where I got those ones. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. And then you can get more, more Berkeley power bait worms. Um, okay, so these are the size for e offset worm hook EWG. So these ones have the extra wide gap. And now I already cut myself with one, so I can, hopefully I can take one out without cutting myself, because that would be very nice if I could do that. Oh, look, one's right sticking out for me. Alrighty, perfect, guys. I got it out without hooking myself. So there it is. It's, it is an extremely sharp hook. God, dude, this thing, I don't know, but it's very sharp. But you can see that it has that extra wide gap there. Um, but, yeah, so... There is a difference between they're both they're still both called offset worm hooks and again if anybody knows if anybody thinks I'm wrong correct me please because I want to be saying the right stuff so I'm most likely going to use the Texas rig um, because that one I know you can catch fish on that rig for sure I caught fish on it in fact so I mean obviously I'm gonna use the Texas rig again for the Ernie Jays and stuff oh god dang. There's so much stuff in this thing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Some wine there, apparently. Okay. Okay, guys, so that was pretty much it. Um, that concludes our fishing tour here. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, I am excited to do the next fishing video. I'm not going to be doing one this uh, on Saturday because I'm having a friend going fishing with us, and I, that's kind of weird. I don't really want to do a fishing video, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my fishing stuff. Sorry, guys, I had to check I was on the right button. I will see you guys in the next video, and peace out. Have a nice night.